want to welcome you to the MUST, to the Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism Management. And today I'm very happy to see some new faces here. And I know that you're going to be the new blood of our faculty. Fresh, energetic, and prospective. And now here I'm going to introduce you about the Bachelor of International Tourism Management. So that is the program and it's a long existing program of our faculty. Now just have a look. For this one, you can see that for the years that you're going to stay here should be four years and the maximum should be six years, okay? And the teaching method, and we call the study mode here, should be lectures. And now I want to mention for the teaching language here should be both English and Chinese. What does that mean? Okay, that means for year three and year four students, all the courses should be only in English, okay, so that means English should be very important for you. So now you better study hard on English, okay? And the next one, I would like to introduce the program structure. And for the program structure, you can see the total credit should be 143 credits. And that means you are going to study four aspects for this one. We divide it into four different parts. For the first one, is the general studies, which accounts for 33 credits. And the second one is the core courses. And these course courses should be related to the, your major, okay? So for this one, it accounts for 65 credits. And the next one, it should be some elective courses, or we can say selective courses. That means you can select the courses that you want, okay? So you can find out what are you are interested in, and you can study those courses. And of course, for the elective courses, should be related to your major or to your profession, okay? And the last one you can see, you're going to finish a report, and this report should be related to your internship, and it accounts for 15 credits for this one. So we divide it into four parts for this one. Now just have a look for the core courses, and I'll just brief introduce those courses for you. For the first one, you can see that in Chinese, which you may be familiar with, and the first one we call is the introduction to tourism and hospitality or the hotel industry. And the second one should be something related to the geographic and also the microeconomics, the tourism economics, professional English, and the transportation, and the travel agency, and also the introduction to the management. So you can see those are some compulsory courses that you are going to finish in the future. And you may find some that you are interested in. Okay? So they are the compulsory courses. And the next one, you can see here, we got six different directions. Okay, what does that mean for this six direction? That means you are going to choose one of these. Okay, so if you are interested in mice, you can choose mice as your direction. And if you are interested in hotel, you can choose the hotel one. Okay, so we divide it into six for this one. The mice management, the gaming management, the hotel management, the cultural tourism management, and the e-tourism, and also the service quality and retail management. So that should be the six areas that you can focus on, okay? So that is the basic things about our program, which is the BITM, the Bachelor of International and Tourism Management. And now, I know that you're also under another program, which is called the BHM program. So now let's welcome my colleague, Kenley, to do the introduction for the BHM program. Now let's welcome. Okay, um, my name is Bobby. Just call me Kenneth if you see me. I think uh, BHM students will see me uh, many times in the first semester. So, good morning everybody and welcome. Um, this is a brand new program, Bachelor of Hotel Management. The difference between the BITM and BHM is this program is a brand new program which is focused on hotel management. Okay, this is our mission statement, so um, you can see it on our website. Actually, okay,
Yes. Um, okay. Uh, of course, we have our teaching quality and we are belong to the WTO. So, also, uh, this is an important point. Why you study BHM? As I say, this is a brand new program, which is a flagship program. What is the meaning of flagship program, guys? Flagship program means this is a very, very important program in our faculty. And this is uh, the first year we introduced this program. And the focus, which is, you can see in the second point, aim at develop students to become in industry professionals. That means, after you finish this program, you are able to work in the industry immediately. You are professional and well recruited to work in the hotel. And also, we have strong practical experience. We have many training for you, okay? Not just academic. So you will see later when I uh, describe the course. And also, we have many close relationship with the industry. As you know, Macau is very famous for gambling and hotel. There are many famous hotels like Four Seasons and also Wayne in Macau. Okay, we have very strong relationship in the industry and um, you can have training over there and develop your career. Okay, study plan. As um, just now, uh, we mentioned it. Our academic focus, we do not have, uh, the only focus is hotel management. And the study period is four years and maximum for six years. The lecture style, of course, just like now, we are face to face, okay? You can always ask the lecture questions and uh, we, every lesson, we are face to face. And the medium of instruction, this is the most important and why we are brand new and a fresh program, which is the differences between BITM and BHM. All the lessons are conducted by English. Okay, all the lessons we complicated by English. Just like our dean mentioned just now, um, English is one of the very important language in the tourism industry, an uh, international language. So we are we are going to develop and train you to our uh, industry professionals. So we use English to build up your ability. Okay, um, this is uh, the the structure of the program, we have 43 credits for general education, core subject 66 credits, and uh, more or less the same of BITM. Okay, let's see the most important. I think you want to know what are you going to study. This is just some examples. In the year one, uh, you have some uh, general education. You can see the introduction in hospitality and uh, general education like English and mathematics, something like that. Okay, the Okay, it's me, that's me. Oh, it's you. You can see. Thanks. Um, in the year two, the very important thing we are going to do is, you can see at the third point, the food and beverage practical training. As you listen to the dean, we will have a training restaurant and you are compulsory to have training, compulsory. Okay, you cannot choose. You must work in the food and beverage practical restaurant because you are going to learn to be a professional. Okay, this is a uh, very significant point, a uh, very important point for the program, okay? And also for the year three, uh, the second year we are going for the food and beverage and the third year, the rooms division, like you know, front office, housekeeping, and you can see also the same in the third point, rooms division, we have a guest house uh, nearby the uh, hospital, okay? And you manage them and you work as a front office receptionist housekeeping, okay, to develop, to uh, prepare you to be a, a industry, okay, you can, you know how to check in, you know how to do housekeeping, okay, when you go to the industry, you can work immediately, not just academic, okay. In the fourth year, um, of course, we have a final training, you can go, you can choose to go to uh, some hotels in Macau, like, uh, as we mentioned, we have uh, a close relationship, so we can introduce, you can apply for the internship for many hotels in the Macau. Uh, as I know, with some of the students, they are working in rain already, okay? The hotels will come to our school to give a talk to you later on. Okay, and uh, I think uh, for the time being, um, okay, it's not enough time. And this is the introduction uh, for this course, and I hope 
um, you can learn more in this uh, in this course if you have any problem. All the lecturers in our faculty and professors in our faculty are able to answer your questions. We are very friendly team. And thank you very much uh, for listening. And uh, I will give back the turn to our MC. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chinese, and thank you, Korea. Thank you for bringing us on this trip.